Hi there and welcome to Magic. So in this video I'm going to show you something uh, that um, we refer to as uh, record slicing. Now um, here I have Sakila uh, app. You can actually reproduce this if you want to. Just go to sakila.daista.com and uh, log in. Uh, we're giving you the username and password required to log in. So here I got a customer object. Now it has all of these fields, right? And some of them are possible to update. So that if I change the name of Mary here now, and I click save, then it updates Mary's name, right? Now what's important to understand is what goes over the wire and how this ends up uh, dynamically building the SQL that uh, does the update statement uh, towards my MySQL database. So if you look here now, if I change Mary's name to back to Mary and have a look at it, then uh, the payload here, you see it's only passing first name and the customer ID, of course, being the primary key. Now, if I edit both of Mary's uh, first name and her last name, right, then it passes on both of these uh, fields. If I only change her last name, it only passes in the last name. Now, first of all, this significantly reduces the bandwidth for you know larger database uh, tables with uh, lots of records. Uh, second of all, it completely eliminates an entire axiom of uh, problems related to database record synchronization. Now, I have uh, written an article, uh, which I'm going to link to uh, below, uh, where you can find me going through the theory of why this is so important uh, as it is. However, uh, if you want to reproduce what I'm doing, you can go to Aista.com, you can create your own Cloudlet, and you can you know, create your own front end, or you can go to simply uh, sakila.aista.com and try it out for yourself. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.